I've had conversations with delegations in the course of the last year where they've said, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about loss and damage. So, okay, we're going to have a climate conference with an accelerating climate crisis with billions and raising up to trillions of dollars of damage out there, and you don't want to talk about it in the climate negotiations. Well, that's just a demonstration of how disconnected you've become from reality. Sooner or later, people are going to start making the link between the pollution on the one hand and the damages on the other. Let's start with actually quantifying that. The big issue here is the demand from developing countries for a new international mechanism for loss and damage. What the developing countries want to, to achieve here is recognition that loss and damage is a third pillar of what we need to discuss. So you have mitigation, reducing emissions, you have adaptation, getting money to adapt yourself to climate change. But third, climate change is already happening. And also there, the loss and damage of climate change needs to be compensated somehow. We should not settle down on anything less than a mechanism. And the reason we want mechanism is something which is permanent, something which is consistent, which can make a concerted effort to deal with this issue. We need institutions that can generate new knowledge. We need institutions which can work with several bodies and institutions within the convention and outside. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, we had discussions until 4 o'clock in the morning about the text around loss and damage. And then the G77 decided to walk out of the room because they thought that there was, there was not enough progress on the issue. It got blocked by Australia and the G77 negotiators left the room because they felt frustrated. Australia, Canada, but also US are very reluctant to take on board anything on that. The EU is a bit more open, but also not entirely clear on what rich countries or Annex 1 countries do not want a new mechanism. They say, OK, we'll talk about it, but we're under adaptation, under the existing mechanism of the Adaptation Committee. Most of civil society and many governments in the developing world came here with very low expectations to start with, right? The expectations were never high, and now even this low expectation that we have is going lower and lower. We see no clear sign from developed countries to support those people, the climate impacted people, who suffer most from climate change. And that's the reason why we say today, enough is enough, we need to leave. We're holding this event today because rich con industrialized countries have effectively held global action on climate change hostage in the interests of their big, dirty energy corporations. We hope that this peaceful symbolic action, that walking out might generate a sense of urgency and get our leaders to deliver more than what is on the table in these negotiations at the moment.